on Flames of Durga. What didn't make me pick up the guitar? I mean, music is my medicine, and guitar is my vehicle for my songwriting. And that release that I don't get anywhere else um, but with my guitar and my music. So Flames of Durga pulls from so many different genres, anything from heavy rock, metal, punk, grunge, some blues, and I have so many inspirations from guitarists, anywhere from Jimi Hendrix, Jimmy Page, uh, Zach Wilde, uh, I love Black Sabbath, uh, the Bleach album, Kurt Cobain, Nirvana, that, that album really honestly changed my life. It uh, also was um, an obsession of mine when I was forming Flames of Durga, so I know some of that came through when I really started to focus on electric guitar from my acoustic roots. In terms of my influences and inspirations, I always have to give it up for the badass women, the pioneers that really helped pave the way for younger ladies like myself. Um, Donita Sparks, Susie Gardner of L7, uh, Joan Jett, uh, Lita Ford, they're some of my heroes for sure. of Durga was this inevitable brainchild formed by me and my twin sister Cecilia uh, and originally the catalyst that made us finally start a band was a crazy car accident that we went through and we lived through it and we were beat up man and it really showed us our mortality and how fleeting life is and how passionate we were about the need to share our music with the world. Uh, so that was the big initial push that we needed, but uh, we grew up writing songs together uh, throughout our childhood and playing different instruments. But uh, I have to say the guitar is definitely my favorite. And yeah, playing in a, playing in a band with my sibling is, uh, it might seem uh, unique and different to other people, but it's so natural for me, and it's, uh, it's just, I don't have to think about it. We just sync up with each other. You know, there's this, definitely, a, they talk about telepathic twin stuff. That definitely happens. I mean, that happens, you know, in bands with people you play with already, right? But uh, uh, it's just such a natural expression, creatively, for us to, play music together and perform and get wild and crazy on stage together. Uh, the bond we have is definitely, uh, uh, you can see it, I guess, in our performance. James 606 combo is such a bitching amp. It sounds huge. It gives me that awesome feedback and sustain that I love so much. I love cranking up the gain personally, and uh, it's amazing how lightweight it is. I can actually carry the amp in one hand and my guitar in the other. Uh, so that's a first, and it doesn't take up much room in the van. I love it, it's great for the road. It worked awesome on our last tour and it was the longest tour yet that I've ever been on. And that whole month it had my back and uh, really had a lot of fun with it. Yes, so I actually get a lot of my tone from this amp. Um, I don't have a crazy pedal setup. Uh, I look for a lot of uh, gain, that dirty, crunchy sound. Uh, I love that dirty rock and roll sound. Uh, that's, that's a lot of what I look for in this band, especially being a three-piece and being the only guitarist in the band. I like to have um, that wide spectrum of um, that full, uh, well-rounded rhythm licks and also that nice, 
crunchy, soloing, loud, sustaining tone that I like as well. So I definitely get all of that with the St. James 6L6. Oh man, growing up in LA has definitely been uh, not boring, that's for sure, and full of such a cultural melting pot. And uh, I've been really lucky to just be exposed to so many amazing musicians um, from all over the world that come here. Um, but growing up, you know, well before I was ever in a band or uh, serious about starting a band, I was going to shows and I was getting so much of that like teenage angst out. Um, before I was rocking out on stage, I was rocking out with my sister in the crowd, um, going to punk shows, metal shows, hardcore shows. Um, and it was, it was the best. It gave us life. It gave us that sense of release and uh, that connection, too, with the performers on stage. Yeah, as teenagers in L.A., uh, I remember my sis and I and our friends, we were always going to Hollywood and the Sunset Strip. We grew up in Silver Lake, so it's pretty close by, just a quick little bus ride away at the time. And um, we went to venues like the Key Club on the Sunset Strip. We saw so many epic shows there and just had the time of our lives. I remember there was a specific show and it was on our birthday too. And I remember thinking, man, this is the funnest night. Of, this has been the funnest night of my life yet. And that was such an awesome feeling. Um, so anyways, the, the Key Club on the Sunset Strip was super fun. The Knitting Factory in Hollywood. Also local venues um, that I miss, um, like the Satellite in Silver Lake. Uh, we grew up, you know, only like five minutes away from that place. Uh, so really sad to see cool places like that uh, not make it through the COVID times. Um, but it is great to see um, the ones that have been able to pull through. Uh, the Redwood Bar I really like in downtown. The Echo is always a great staple of the LA music scene. You know, one of the things that I didn't see a lot in LA growing up in the music scene was very many females getting on stage, especially with an instrument, and especially in the rock scene and the heavier genres in general. So. Now I'm finally starting to see more and more fellow women or um, women identified getting up there on stage and really owning their power and joining the boys. Um, so I'm really excited to see more women getting up on stage and rocking out and honing their craft um, and supporting each other along the way too. Yeah, when using the St. James 606, I am obsessed with the gain the uh with channel two um i like it dirty you know i like that crunchy dirty rock and um when i want that boost i just use the voice too and i don't even necessarily need a fuzz pedal when i use this amp because i get so much of that awesome dirty crunchy tone that i love so much and it also works great with my sg here i don't really use the clean channel don't need it in flames of durga you know it's dirty, it's loud. I've got a loud drummer thumping away. My sis on bass ripping it. So uh, I have fun with that gain and that uh, channel too. Yeah, so Flames of Durga has our first full length album coming out, a uh, self-titled album. Um, we've got an exclusive vinyl release coming out later this summer. And then shortly after that, we're gonna do a digital release. We had the opportunity to record our first full-length album at Rancho de la Luna in Joshua Tree. And wow, what an honor, let me tell you. That place, it has so much history, so many incredible records have been made there. I was just humbled and honored to get the opportunity to record, even to just record a song, but we recorded 10 songs there. Um, to work with Dave Ketching too, he is just, such a legendary musician. You know, he's been in projects like Queens of the Stone Age, Eagles of Death Battle. Um, he's in Mojave Lords, Earthlings. And he's just such an amazing guitar player and wizard. 
and, and also just a really cool dude, really awesome human being and so easygoing and fun. We had a fucking blast there. Recording guitars with him was so epic. It, I was just in a kid in a candy store. It was a playground for me. Um, I brought my babies, of course, but he also let me uh, play any of his guitars that I wanted. All kinds of beautiful vintage guitars. Uh, it was honestly a dream come true. Uh, I'm so excited to, to put out this album. Uh, Flames of Durga has so much to say, and uh, we're finally gonna be able to let the world hear it pretty soon. So Flames of Durga's self-titled album comes out late summer this year. Uh, we're super excited. We've got uh, a couple videos that we released uh, from singles off the album, and then we have another single coming out, um, and we'll have a new video for that one. It's called Alpha Woman. So we've got a lot of touring coming up and super excited that we're gonna be hitting the UK uh, for the first time ever this September. Uh, we've got a week over there, so I cannot wait to get over there and feel their energy and rock out and show them what we're all about. And yeah, we're super excited to do more touring in general. We wanna go everywhere. Thanks for watching, you guys. You can find Flames of Durga online, everywhere at Flames of Durga.